Do you ever get hot or flushed when you drink alcohol? I remember going to parties as a teenager and I remember a guy sitting at the table always when he was drinking was beet red. This is usually a condition called histamine intolerance. Check it out next time you're around a lot of people that are drinking. So you probably are aware of histamine as it relates to allergies, but histamine is a neurotransmitter that has other functions in the body. Now most foods contain histamine because it's a byproduct of aging or breakdown, so leftovers contain a higher amount of histamine. But a lot of foods contain it, and some of the highest foods in histamine would be alcoholic beverages or fermented foods. Our bodies have a couple enzymes that help you break down histamine, and some of us are lower in these enzymes, and that can make you more sensitive to develop high histamine from eating these foods. Symptoms might be getting hot, red, flushed. It might look like hives, stomach upset, headaches, and it can be annoying. It might even feel a little scary. You do have to differentiate this from an allergic reaction, and usually an allergic reaction is going to have some sort of swelling or vomiting, other symptoms, so just be careful. Now, anyone can get symptoms of high histamine if you consume enough of it. If I go eat a bunch of pickles, have some yogurt, have some kombucha, and then some wine or beer, I'm probably going to feel it. So what can you do? Well, you might want to avoid foods or drinks that have high histamine. There is an expert in histamine who's made a website called The Histamine Chef for people that are extra sensitive to histamine to help guide them in adjusting their diet to minimize symptoms. Some supplement companies even make one of the enzymes, it's called histamine diamine oxidase, that you can take minutes before you consume histamine. Most people wanna take it before they drink alcohol so that they're not drawing attention at every social gathering. This is something you can look for online or at specialty compounding pharmacies. Now, you could also just take a daily antihistamine, but I really don't recommend taking that on a regular basis due to long-term side effects for things like, oh yeah, lack of memory. Research shows that clicking the thumbs up and subscribe button will make fingers healthy and strong. And besides, it's free.